What is good, fight fans? This is Ashley's Corner. And a good fight is coming up. Um, February 5th, I call it the fight against the Jose's. It's going down on ESPN+. Plus. It is the main event, of course, in Fresco, California at the Save Mart Center. Jose Ramirez versus Jose Pedraza will throw down. This is going to be a good fight. Um, I like both fighters, really. I like them a lot. Um, I really think this is going to be an entertaining fight. But uh, um, I don't think it's going to be a 12-round fight. If it is, both fighters talked about how uh, prepared and how important this fight is. Um, Pedraza stressed that they he, it can't be another loss on his record. Um, Ramirez stressed that he wants to be a champion again, and, you know, this is his time. Um, and it will be a fight at 140 pounds, of course. Now, I'm going to start with the specs. Jose Ramirez is the unified champion at 140 pounds. His record is 26-1. and one. He has 17 knockouts. He fought for 139 rounds. His knockout percentage is 62.96%. He's been pro for nine years. The Jaguar is 29 years old. He's 5'10 with a 72-inch reach. And he started at 140 pounds, and he's been at 140 his entire career. He's coming off a loss, um, his one and only loss, to Josh Taylor. And that was for an undisputed fight. Um... Jose Ramirez is a great fighter. He moves his feet when he throws punches. He throws them hard. He throws them accurate. He throws nice combinations. They're sharp. They're crisp, as you can see on the screen. Um, he's a very good fighter. Very uh, explosive when he want to be. Um, he is controlled. And, I mean, I like it. This is going to be a really good fight. But he is up against... A striker as well, Pedraza. In my opinion, not a striker. I would say he's more of a boxer. But his specs is, Jose Pedraza's specs is, he is the two-time, he is the two-time champion. His record is 29 and three. He has 14 KOs. He has one KO loss to Javante Davis. He's fought for 238 rounds total. His knockout percentage is 43.75%. He's been pro for 10 years. The sniper is 32 years old. He's 5'8 with a 70 and a half inch reach. And he's Puerto Rican. All right, man. Um, In my opinion, yo, Pedraza is going to need to box to stay in this fight. All right. And keep your, and he needs to keep his hands up. He needs to be defensively sound and move his feet in an educated way when Ramirez is on his attack. And I mean slip, bob, and weave some, some of them punches, okay? Don't just hold a high guard, all right? Because some shots can, I think that, um, I think some shots that Ramirez throws since he moves his feet forward and side to side when he throws combinations that, um, and I think, you know, Ramirez does have a little bit of pop. I think when he used those angles, when he throw those combinations, that some of them are going uh, can slip through and tag Pedraza just like they tag all other fighters that just sit there and only use a high guard, especially when leaning against the ropes because Ramirez gets everybody against the ropes. You know, that's just something that he knows how to do very well. And I see him doing that to Pedraza at some time in this fight. Um, Pedraza also likes to... Um, to move in and out like on his toes sort of like a bounce type thing but he covers ground you know what I mean when he does it uh that type of thing might not work in his favor against Ramirez because when Ramirez when I say he's on an attack because he's not really a stationary fighter you know what I mean he can get caught with something nice doing that to Ramirez you know what I'm saying? Like, especially because Ramirez moves his feet forward when he throws combinations, when he throws punches, when he's on an attack, he's going forward. He might take some steps to the side. You know, like, he's going to use some angles when he throws those punches. That's what I, that's, at least that's what I see. Um, Ramirez doesn't like to stand stationary either. He's not that type of fighter that, you know, for the most, for the most part, he's not going to just stand in front of you and tit for tat you. He's going to throw punches and move his feet towards you. 
So, you know, throwing those combinations is tough because he's just, like I said, he has some pinpoint accuracy. You know, Pedraza, in my opinion, is a good boxer. Using his ring IQ, staying on the outside, working the jab, being defensively sound would keep him in this fight. You know, if it does go 12 rounds, I see Pedraza being the winner. But I really, really don't think that's going to happen. Um, I got Ramirez winning before the sixth round. Winning, I mean, winning within six rounds, winning the first half of the fight, and probably stopping Pedraza if Pedraza comes out standing in front of Ramirez. I don't think that's a good idea. Ramirez does fight like that. He kind of fought like that when he fought Javante Davis, when he fought other fighters like um, Ray Beltran and stuff like that. That's not what he did. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, Pedraza being that he fought uh, Loma and stuff like that, he should know better not to stand in front of Ramirez. But we will see. If he does stand in front of Ramirez, I got him. I got Ramirez stopping him within six or seven rounds, you know what I'm saying, within that, that amount of time. Um, but if if Pedraza comes out on his A game, really focused and down with the game plan and don't stray from the game plan of winning this fight, and he fights, he boxes beautifully, I still say Ramirez catches him late within like, the, what, 10th or 11th round. I think Ramirez got some pop. I think he has accuracy. And if he loses to Pedraza... If Ramirez loses to Pedraza, I'm saying, like, bruh, I don't know what else to say about Ramirez if he loses to If he just gets outboxed, then he needs to go back to a drawing board. But if he gets stopped, bruh, I don't know what to say about Ramirez. I really don't. But I, I think he should win this fight. It might not be easy, but he should win this fight. Pedraza has been a champion at 130. He's been a champion at 135. And he is a fighter coming up from from that weight class and even though Pedraza's had some fights at 140 Ramirez is a solid 140 pound fighter so uh that's it that's all I got for you with this fight as it draws near uh, February 5th Saturday in California on ESPN the fight goes down this is a top ranked card and yeah I think it's going to be highly entertaining let me know who you got in the comment section. Peace.